Today we're talking about fine cuts with a fret saw. This is the new concepts fret saw. Now fret saws are used for making very delicate cuts. They use a really, really fine blade. A lot of jewelers use these for making cuts and of course woodworkers use these also. Uh, typically we use these for uh, doing marquetry. Uh, where we need to make some really delicate cuts uh, in wood or other materials and also we use it for uh, when we're doing dovetails for cutting out that waste you can use a fret saw for getting right in there and cutting out um, the waste and that's what i'll be going uh, and showing today using this fret saw now this is the new concepts fret saw and this is the aluminum version and they also make a titanium version uh, you can see uh, it looks pretty cool. It's got this is the five inch saw. Uh, it's got a lot of rigidity here across the back and the arms. And it's got some pretty cool features for putting in the blade and tensioning the blade and keeping it really tight. And that's what this saw is awesome at. And it's also super light, which really helps out uh, when cutting. Let me go ahead and show you some close ups of some of these features. The first thing that you notice about this saw is just how different it looks. Uh, it's really cool, but this back is made out of aluminum, or there's an optional titanium version, uh, which is super stiff, which leads to uh, better blade rigidity, which is really important for making fine, delicate cuts. Speaking of blade rigidity, the first thing that I notice about this uh, is the blade tensioning mechanism, which is right down here, which is really cool. Uh, right here, it's untensioned, and you can hear the blade very loose and all you do is flip it up to tension the blade and you can hear just how taut that is now to make fine adjustments uh, with the tensioning you just simply turn this knob here you can do it in place or you can quickly detension it turn it a little bit and tension it back up Changing out a blade on the new Concepts fret saw is very uh, straightforward. Simply uh, detension the blade, and it's got these two locking levers here on both sides. Simply just unlock those a little bit, quarter turn or so, and the blade pops right out. Uh, make sure you've got the blade in the correct direction. You can pop it right back in both sides. Flex a little bit, get it in the other side. There it goes and then simply lock down the two locking levers. Now make sure your blade uh, is coming out correctly between the anvil, uh, which is right on this side, a little set screw, uh, and uh, the locking mechanism on this side should hold the blade uh, perfectly in the middle, uh, coming right out there. And it's set at the factory, of course, but make sure that it's coming out straight and not at an angle where you might have to just um, rotate this anvil a little bit in and out to make sure your blade's coming straight out. Lock it in both sides and we're ready to go. The saw blade can also be rotated left and right. Sometimes you don't want to have it uh, straight in line with the back, but you want to be able to tilt it and saw to the left uh, or to the right uh, and have the blade uh, point that direction so you can get the back out of the way of the, of the wood that you're cutting. And that's really easy to do here. Um, simply detension and you can see here um, that there's a slot right here that we can rotate the blade. So simply rotate it up there in that slot and I'll do the same at the other end push it up so it's now rotated in that slot and then go ahead tension it back up and now my blade is pointed right at you here and you can see that it's tilted away so now the blade is pointing uh, 45 degrees to the left so I can go ahead and cut straight across here and keep my blade uh, out of the way and what's pretty cool is that there's a detent right at 90 so I'll rotate it back to 90 you can just make out almost there that little detent so when i go ahead and tighten it back up it snaps right in there and now it's perfectly in line with the back so enough talk let's go ahead and do some cutting i've got uh, some pine here that i'm going to go ahead and cut some dovetails and i'll use my dovetail saw for uh, defining uh, the pins and tails and of course we'll use the new concepts fret saw for getting rid of that waste here I've got my tails defined. I'm gonna quickly uh, cut down my scribe lines here with the dovetail saw. Okay, I got pretty close to my scribe lines. Let's go ahead and cut out the waste here with the fret saw.
pretty nice. So let's go ahead and cut another set of tails and see just how close we can get to our baseline, how accurate we can be with this fret saw. So that was pretty awesome. Very clean cuts and went exactly where uh, I pointed the saw, uh, right along my baseline, as close as I want it to be. I'm sure you guys can get even better results than this. Of course, it's a little bit hard for me to show you uh, exactly how well this works uh, in a video uh, without you being able to touch and feel how light it is and how it maneuvers and everything. But I hope you got a little bit of an idea of how well uh, this saw works and some of the features uh, incorporated in this saw. Now, I've been using an adjustable uh, frame fret saw for quite a while. Let me give you a look at these two saws so you can see a comparison. Here in the close-up, you can see the two saws side by side. Uh, this is an adjustable frame uh, fret saw that I've been using for quite a while. Uh, and you can uh, tension it with this knob here. You get it pretty close up here, uh, tighten there, and then go ahead and uh, ratchet this down uh, to tension the blade. And it works pretty well. Um, this is a three inch throat, which means three inches from the back to the blade. And the new concepts is a five inch throat, which means you have five inches of clearance here. Um, and in terms of weight, uh, it's a pretty big difference. Uh, I would say the adjustable frame here weighs almost 50% uh, more uh, than this one, even though it's got a smaller throat. And that weight um, transfers into ease of use, uh, especially when this is hanging out, cantilevered out, and you're sawing across. Uh, the lighter this is, the easier it is uh, to control the whole saw. And of course, the new concepts has a couple more features uh, than the adjustable frame saw, such as the quick tensioning uh, cam system here and the ability to rotate the blade 45 degrees to the left or to the right. Now, there are a lot of different coping saws and fret saws that you can use for cutting out waste and dovetails, doing marquetry, etc. Uh, they start as cheap as five or 10 bucks from the home center uh, for a coping saw, but I recommend staying away from those because it's really hard to get the blade tight and therefore you end up with a wandering cut when that blade is not very tight. This type of adjustable uh, fret saw, adjustable frame fret saw, it's about 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, it's pretty easy to get the blade tight because you can you got a thumb screw here and then you've got one here for uh, tightening that blade. Uh, it's three inches of depth. Uh, you can manually sort of rotate the blade left or right uh, by giving it a pinch with some pliers. So it works pretty well in a lot of situations and I've definitely been using this uh, with great results for quite a while. But the ultimate in fret saw is this new concepts fret saw. Of course it's a lot more expensive but for that you get this quick release blade tension which I really love. Uh, saves your blade life when you're not using it, you can untension the blade. And of course, it's easy to get it super tight. Um, the rigidity of this frame is just awesome. Uh, you can rotate the blade to the left or the right 45 degrees for keeping the saw frame out of the way. When you're doing that wide blanket chest cutting dovetails, uh, you can keep the saw frame up out of the way uh, of that wide piece of wood. Uh, and of course, it just looks awesome. And it's really, really light, which is key for getting great results, having a light saw that's easy to handle and get it exactly where you want it to go. So definitely check out uh, these saws from New Concept. If you get a chance to hold one of these, you'll be amazed at how light it is and just how well it works. <music>